He's our most frightening symbol of evil, the tempter, the soul snatcher, who goes by many names. Satan, Lucifer, Belial, Leviathan. Tonight is a full moon, and Friday the 13th. An auspicious night for Satanists who are into dark magic and the ancient practice of calling the devil to earth. I'm meeting with a man who calls himself Lord Egan, high priest of the first church of Satan. Thanks to the internet, he is a shadowy mentor for the thousands of kids he communicates with online. So tell me about tonight. What's, what's going to be happening here tonight? Um, I'll be doing a consecration of this coven, which is the forming of a new, a new group, a gathering of people. During the course of the ceremony, are there spirits around or no? You might feel a presence in the room. You're tapping the, uh, the I, cosmic energy, a psychic energy. I believe, I believe uh, Satan will actually be here. Here in this room? In this room with us. I'm a little skeptical. It's my nature. Yeah. Will what happens here tonight change my skepticism? It very well may. In nomine de nostri Satanas, Luciferi Excelsi. In the name of Lucifer. And off it goes. Asking the Dark Lord for fame and riches has never gone out of style. So it is done. My brother, the Reverend, wants money. So here we go, money and lots of it. Hail Satan. Hail, Hail Satan. Satan. Anton LaVey had an enormous influence on my life. My father was an alcoholic. My mother a manic depressive. It was pretty hard for you. You felt a little lost, I imagine. Besides being uh, bullied and picked on by the other kids, I was struck by a teacher. And I mean struck hard. It was fall. And I raked all the leaves in my parents' yard. And I put it in one pile in the front. And I burned it. And I visualized him and I cursed him and all that. One year later, he died a blood clot to the brain. How did you feel? Strangely, I didn't feel guilty at all. You felt that it was just for him to die because he hit you? If the man wasn't self-destructive by nature, that curse would not have affected him. This story about a vengeful curse is impossible to corroborate, as is Egan's claim that he recently participated in the death of another enemy. I just visualized all that hate and animosity he was feeling just being reflected back to himself and a year later he put a gun to the temple of his head and he blew his brains out. So you've uh, helped kill two people? There's probably been maybe one or two others. I summon the Prince of Darkness by the power of the pact we sealed one sweet and faithful night. So maybe Lord Egan believes he can raise the devil. But what makes him think he can handle the powers of darkness? Do you ever worry that you might be wrong and you could actually be toying with something very dark, very powerful, and very bad? At first. At first, but then it's like I grew to understand it. And I don't really feel that way anymore. Some people sense a disturbing presence in the old cemetery in Salem, Massachusetts. They say the nearby woods are haunted by souls accused of consorting with the devil. America's relationship with the devil goes back to the religious reformation of the 16th century, when the devil-obsessed Martin Luther protested against many practices of the Catholic Church and called the Pope the Antichrist. His Protestantism triggered a series of bloody wars in Europe. In France, Catholics slaughtered their Protestant neighbors on the Paris streets in a rampage that came to be called the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre. In England, King James I was so convinced that the devil was leading a plot to assassinate him that in 1590, he sentenced 200 alleged co-conspirators with the devil to death. King James also commissioned a version of the Bible that still influences modern beliefs about Satan. In the wild New England colonies, Puritan terror of dark forces ran so deep that in 1692, the people of Salem Village accused their neighbors of consorting with Satan. Because of its tragic association with an imaginary devil, 
Salem is now a major center for practicing Satanists. You don't mind that what you believe has turned silly? No, in a way it's kind of, it's kind of good. Even if one person comes here and they go on one of these tours and it strikes a chord in them and they've learned something, I feel that much better for it. Come here early, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be mob. The persistence of our fascination with the devil is reflected in hundreds of satanic websites, like Lord Egan's. Do you worry that by embracing what so many people consider to be evil, some might misinterpret what you say and take that to be condoning violent, hurtful acts? They would find a, a way to rationalize their destructive behavior. If it wasn't me, it would be Marilyn Manson. If it wasn't Marilyn Manson, it would be... Adolf Hitler. The young killers at Columbine, they were attracted to Satanism? Yes, and they were very self-destructive. But, but the solution wasn't to impose morality upon them. What those boys needed was love. But if you have young people who are misguided, couldn't that lead them to some very dangerous conclusions, just as we saw at Columbine? I think they would still take a, adopt the role of the adversary in this situation and feel that they were doing the will of the devil or Allah or even Jim Jones who believed himself to be the incarnation of Jesus. 908 Christians took their lives that day. 